My name is Carol Marshall. I'm a senior lecturer at Northumbria University in food science and human nutrition, and I'm a registered nutritionist. A nutritionist tends to work with healthy people. We promote health, we encourage people to be healthy so that they can live longer and be healthier to the end of their days. It really is vital to them. For one thing, it's the highlight of their day. A lot of elderly people look forward to the next meal. It spaces the day out. And you've got to make those meals enjoyable, but you've also got to make them as healthy as possible because often they're eating a very small amount, in which case it has to be nutrient rich rather than calorie rich. Well, I work as a, a training consultant and the catering staff and the providers of the food are trained to use healthy ingredients, fresh ingredients as far as possible, cook the meals from scratch, don't add salt to them when you cook them and make them as interesting and palatable as they possibly can. It's a wide choice because we tailor it to suit people's requirements. Um, it's no good offering somebody a curry if they've grown up on a meat and, and two veg diet. So each care home tends to tailor their menu to suit the residents and they have meetings with the residents and the residents' families to decide what foods they're going to offer and it's all based on their choices as well as being healthy of course. It's human rights. You can eat what you want to eat, but the care home staff are encouraged to motivate the elderly to make the right choices. If we offer them good food and we make it look attractive, they're much more likely to choose good, healthy food. Everybody has to have their treats, um, but we encourage the healthy options first and then have the treats afterwards. Everybody feels guilty when they put somebody into care. I did with my mother-in-law, and you do tend to take treats every time you go. That's fine, particularly if the person's undernourished, um, but giving people lots of chocolates and biscuits to hide in their room and nibble at does tend to dull their appetite when we offer them a good, healthy, nutritious lunch or dinner. So it's being sensible about what they bring in. They can always bring flowers or pictures or magazines or toiletries. It doesn't always have to be food. There's all sorts of research out there. Um, often you see some claims being contradicted, um, but the standard agreement is that we should all eat a healthy, balanced diet, particularly focused on lots of fruit and vegetables, low amount of lean meat, and plenty of fiber. It's an easy diet to achieve. 